Hi guys, long time no see. Uh, I want to show you my painted uh, Waffen SS squad of seven men. Uh, they are total 112 points, or I can take them 133 fanatics, or I can take them with just going to deal for 97 points. So yeah, I also painted my stoop. I think the stoop is 230 regular. Which this took I will never use, but um, I want an advice from you guys. You, if you think I should leave it like this, or I should put a, a P dot on it like ambush camo. I think like this looks perfect, and then it's like perfect camouflaged. But uh, yeah, I want to hear your opinion, guys, about it. And yeah, mm, let me show the the stuk first. Let me remove these guys from the way. It was uh, pretty fun to paint. Went under also with camo. Uh, I wanted to leave just a small line of uh, the yellow. Uh, it's all done by brush. No uh, airbrush, no nothing. The commander just uh, did in black. And also dry brush him a bit with gray. And yeah, I, I, I thought, yeah, maybe it's gonna be enough cam or the tank so the, the crewman should not attract all the attention with the P dot or something. So yeah, I hope you like my stug. And yeah, now let me show you the, the squad now. This is my uh, NCO. With his uh, PPHS, I didn't use a uh, uh, metal co uh, metal colors for this uh, paint job. I just wanted to see how it's going without uh, metals. So yeah, this is just a regular rock that I found outside. I also use some uh, um. Colors on it, also some sand from outside. Everything is natural. And uh, the grenade guy, the rifleman, with his uh, Russian hat. This guy is always cold. He survived the Stalingrad. His nose is huge. <laughs> And yeah, a lot of kits on him. Also, rifleman. Um, this is my uh, attempt on uh, Oak Leaf for Spring. It's not very um, successful, but uh, I'm just um, using these guys as a test for my future models for my Waffen SS uh, army. And yeah, this guy has a nice uh, sand. Uh, thing on his face, scarf, this is some goggles, forgot to paint his emblem of his hat, also didn't paint any markings on them, I mean uh, I started to but uh, yeah I still need to work on this camo but I think this camo really came out nicely and yeah maybe I'll do a tutorial on it I think they really look nice on the tabletop. You can really tell they have the. This guy is a is a nice sculpt with uh, his uh, um, blouse showing under. I mean his uh, uniform under the smock, which is pretty awesome. I use some. Uh, uh, two guys I painted with a more um, strong, um, uh, how do you call it, orange. Like this guy and this guy. I painted with a stronger tone of orange and two with lighter tone of orange. This guy is screaming, hiding in some rocky mountain terrain. 
shooting his uh, STG44. Also the hat was trying to do that camo. On this camo I still need to work to figure it out. It looks like some Vietnam era right now. But yeah, from a distance it looks nice. And uh, this other guy also. This one is the senior. Um, second in command. I pointing. I really like this guy uh, pose. I just put one leg like in front, like bending a bit in front. It's like very nice the position uh, I managed to put him on. Also, his camo smoke in the back. Also having a helmet. I really like this miniature how it came out. Also look like the oldest from them. Like wrinkle face. This guy I've seen a lot of, of combat. And the last guy from the unit, but not uh, the least. I think this guy rifle broke the tip, but doesn't really matter. He's still there for the action. He's stealing oak leaf camo. He's still ready for action. He's still reloading his gun. Only for this guy, use cork to see different the difference between him and the rest. I think I started some markings on the NCO. I still need to finish them on the shoulder, also on the armband. But I didn't put the white stripes yet. But uh, yeah, they are almost finished. And yeah, we'll take some picture on them, put them on Instagram. Uh, hope you guys like them. And then yeah, thanks for watching guys. And then I uh, yeah, hope you like my new start of my Waffen SS. And see you later guys. Bye bye.